Okay, so who else is exhausted and not knowing what to make for dinner, but you know you have leftovers and nobody wants leftovers? I'm gonna show you a leftover hack because I've been running around like crazy. I have a menu for the week, but tonight we're gonna ditch the menu and we're gonna make leftovers into a new meal that my family will eat and they'll think it's brand new anyway. So come to my kitchen, I'm gonna show you how to do this. So the goal is to always have a clean kitchen. That didn't work out today. The goal was to get ready today. That didn't work out today. I've been running around like crazy, picking up kids. We've had snow day after snow day after snow day. And finally they went back to school today and I got to work and get some stuff done. So I've kind of stayed just kind of loungewear all day long. Um, and uh, now I'm like, oh gosh, it's dinner time. What do I make? So we have some pulled pork some leftover pulled pork. I'm gonna turn this into barbecue pulled pork and I'm gonna show you a fun little easy, less than 30 minute meal to put together for your family. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a nine by 13 Pyrex dish, just a, a dish. Now you can use an eight by eight, but I have enough to do a nine by 13. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab this and we're gonna put a new meal together. And a tip to get at the grocery store always is just have some croissant sheets or even croissants on hand. You can use the croissants the regular croissants, but I'm gonna use the dough sheets and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I got my pulled pork, I've got barbecue sauce, I've got these crescent sheets. This will actually work with any protein, if I didn't already mention that. You could do like a rotisserie chicken, uh, you could do hamburger meat, taco meat, you really don't need to use barbecue seasoning, but uh, I'm gonna make this easy, little, quick, little casserole. Oh, I need to grab some garlic powder. I'm gonna take a couple tablespoons, probably of butter here, and I'm gonna melt them in the microwave, and I'm just gonna mix this garlic powder in it. As the butter's melting, this is gonna say to preheat your oven at 375, so I'm just gonna use those instructions right here on the croissant roll. I always say croissant, it's crescent, so for those of you that are correcting me, thank you. Crescent roll. And I just say measure with your heart, there's no exact recipe to this, because you're just using up those leftovers. I'm going to say about a tablespoon. And I'm going to get it good and mixed up for you. And this is going to be kind of showing you some behind the scenes too. I'm making a quick little reel for you. For those of you that like longer videos, this will be helpful. And for those of you that like the short, quick, and concise, I'm creating that one for you to post. Okay, so open up that can of crescents. And again, if you don't have the, the dough sheet, that is totally fine. You just wanna make sure not to pull them apart, kind of leave them in a sheet. But I like to buy these sheets when I can, but I'm telling you what, from all the fun cooking videos that are out there, a lot of people are using these and so many times I cannot find them in the grocery store. There's no need to really grease the bottom of this pan because the crescent is greasy enough, so you don't have to do that. It should not stick. Okay, so go ahead and make sure you have it all pressed down right in that nine by 13 pan. And then you're gonna take that garlic butter. I probably should have used a little bit more butter, but honestly, like, I don't wanna overdo it on the butter because again, this is already a crescent roll. So I'm gonna use what I have here and just I'm gonna lightly just kind of coat the bottom of the pan, obviously on the crescent roll. This is a super kid friendly meal. Most kids love barbecue sauce and, and this will be one that they'll love. So instead of uh, mixing these up separately because I don't want to dirty another dish, I'm going to go ahead and put the pulled pork right down on top of the crescent sheet. Just like this. Don't let those leftovers go to waste. And again, I think so many of us don't want to eat the leftovers or maybe people in our family don't want to eat leftovers simply because they're bored of it. Well, this gives a new variation to that particular leftover item that you can kind of make a new meal and no one even knows. And if you did this like throughout the week and not one night after the next, then they really wouldn't be suspicious at all. Okay, so instead of dirty dishes, like I said, I'm just gonna use some uh, barbecue sauce and I don't have a particular measurement that I'm gonna use. Um, I'm just gonna kind of pour it on top and kind of gauge it a little bit. It looks like I'm gonna use about half the bottle is what I had left in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Let me see here the ounce of this, probably 
This is a 20 ounce, so probably about a cup and a half of barbecue sauce there on top. Not necessarily a measurement, so to speak, but just something that uses up what you have left over. And then spread it out on top, just like this. Looks like this, and now we're gonna put some shredded cheese on top. Now I love to shred my own cheese because it's just better that way, and it's better for you. So my favorite little kitchen gadget that I have is this right here. It's a tree shredder, and it's always in the dishwasher because it is dishwasher friendly, which I can appreciate and love. For any of you out there that struggle with trying to hand wash things, this is definitely something that you wanna invest in because you do not have to hand wash it, and it just, is like comes in a couple different pieces. It actually shreds up vegetables too, which is awesome. Honestly, I've never used it for that, but you definitely could. I have heard so many of you say that they do. And um, you just put it in actually like this. It's gonna be easier like this. So you put it in there like that, clicks in. You'll wanna put the attachment that you want in it. It comes with a, a variety of different attachments for finer shredded cheese and again, uh, to do vegetables as well, but it, this is it. This is it. And then you suction it onto your surface that you're going to shred your cheese. And I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. This quick, simple recipe is just using up what you have in the kitchen. So I have this block of mild cheddar cheese, and that's what I'm going to use. Obviously, you want to make sure you put. Let's see here. A bowl down. And then you want to lock this in place. So it's not so it'll grip for you and then there's this fun little attachment here that you can press down the cheese as you go and let me show you how this works oops wrong way let me show you how this works so super super simple easy shredded cheese in no time and you get a more nutritious shred um, if you've researched it all shredded bag shredded cheese you're going to realize that you probably want to start shredding your own cheese not to make things harder for you moms but it's definitely worth it for sure sometimes you can use the bag but honestly this is the very best so i'm going to take this shredded cheese and i'll probably use a little bit more than this i'm going to move that out of the way and i'm just going to put it right on top here so just like this and you can use as much or as little you don't even have to use cheese but hey we love cheese so I think this is a good addition. In fact, I'm gonna shred up just a little bit more to put there on top. In my opinion, there's no such thing as too much cheese. All right, there it is. I think that's probably good enough. We'll put that right there on top. Give it a nice cheesy layer. Looks pretty scrumptious. You could really use any kind of cheese that you wanted. Just use up whatever you have in your kitchen and your refrigerator. And like I said, this thing goes right in the dishwasher so you don't have to hand wash it out. I'm gonna shred the rest of that and put it in a baggie for later. So go ahead and use up the rest of that on the top there. Okay, so take that second can of crescent dough. Again, you don't have to use the sheets. I just prefer them for meals like this. But if you're using the crescent roll, just make sure you don't separate them. Pop that, open it up. And you'll just want to put that right on top. Just like this. Do a quick little video on my end here. Okay, so it's basically going to look like this. It's a little uh, pulled pork, barbecue pulled pork cheesy casserole or bake if you will and then you want to take a little bit of that garlic butter that you have left again I use just a couple tablespoons and then just go ahead and put it right on top there to kind of give it that nice golden brown look and deliciousness I don't know about you but it's easy meals like this one that help me to put time where I want it and that's around the dinner time table not making meals in the kitchen so I'm hoping this helps you too. So you'll have to stay tuned for the results here in just a minute when it comes out of the oven. What's even better is when your hubby comes in with groceries to make a salad with this deliciousness. Thanks, babe. Okay, so here it is coming out of the oven. So it came out of the oven, it's nice and bubbly. I'm gonna let it set up here on the counter for about 10 minutes before I, before I cut into it and serve it up. Plates to serve it up on. And don't forget to use that uh, 
hot pan so you don't burn your hands. And let's cut into this. Okay, it looks and smells delicious. Put it on the plate here. I'm gonna take a bite out for you in just a second, but I'm gonna put this with some salad too. And there you have it, a super quick and easy, delicious meal. Let's bite into this and give it a try. Pretty tasty, Molly. Pretty sure your kids are gonna fall in love with it. And in 30 minutes or less, you just use up all your leftovers and made a brand new meal. So stop that food waste, stop wasting those leftovers and turn them into a brand new meal. Make sure you follow Crazy Busy Mama for more.